Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. So if it looks different, that's because I'm standing. Um, so I figured I'd change it up a little bit, get out of the chair, stretch my legs. Um, I have my mountain dog lighting system right up there. I have my ring light right here, and then I have my blue microphone right down there. And that back there, that's the Grand Canyon. That's right. In this episode, I just want to give you um, a little bit of background on me. I want to give you a little bit of like what I like, what I dislike. That way you can find some common ground maybe, whatever it is. Um, but we're going to start off with podcasting. So if you are into podcasting, I'm into podcasting and that is where we can find some common ground. So one of the main podcasts I go to is How Did This Get Made? So How Did This Get Made is a podcast that was created by Paul Shear. He's from the league. He's the bald guy. He is hilarious. Um, and that's basically how I got into Paul Shear and got into How Did This Get Made? His wife's on the show and uh, Jason Manzukis is on the, sh on the show. And that dude is hilarious also. So that's a podcast I've been listening to since the beginning of uh, what, like 2008 or something. Like it's been a while, eh, maybe 2010. Um, but also my second go-to podcast, which is maybe my first, I don't know, is Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan is a uh, incredible human. Um, his podcasts have inspired me. His podcasts have given me so much insight onto physical health, mental health, and all different types of health. Like uh, most of the supplements I take, um, which are just natural supplements, so it's not like anything too crazy, um, are all from his podcasts, the people he's ha had on and whatnot. Um, but okay, so that's podcasting. Movies. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna do a movie, if I'm in a if I'm in a crappy mood and I'm feeling down, then I'm going for a stand up. I'm going for a comedy. I'm going for something that just lifts me back up. Now, if, in a, if I'm in a good mood and I'm hyped and I'm feeling like on cloud nine, then I'm going to go for like a horror movie or I'm going to go for a mystery or I'm going to go with something that's edgy, something that is like more grunge and maybe more dark because I like to bounce, I like to do the opposite of my moods. So um, I kind of use movies and film and TV shows as a way to like alter how I'm feeling. Um, but lately, you know, having a, a little uh, toddler, a little baby boy, um, I have not been able to watch too many movies. I mean, a movie is is a commitment. It's two hours. It's an hour and 45 minutes. It's three hours of your time. And I deal in two hour increments right now. So you're like, what does that mean? Well, two hour increments means that he naps for roughly two hours and then he wakes up from his nap and he's awake for roughly two hours and then he goes back down for two hours. So I have a very limited amount of time to um, shower, I have very limited time to eat. Um, I, I live my life right now in two hour increments. Um, so a movie is just, it's too much. Um, I've not watched um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm a huge Quentin Tarantino fan. Um, I think the first movie I watched was Kill Bill 1. That was my introduction. One of my buddies uh, growing up was like, yeah, you, you got to watch this movie. Um, and yeah, and then I went back all the way to uh, True Romance, uh, which you probably don't even know what that is, but that's a Quentin Tarantino joint film. Um, and then, of course, Reservoir Dogs and, and every other Quentin Tarantino film. Um, but yeah, so I haven't even been able to watch a movie um, when my fiance is home um, and I'm home, then we usually watch TV shows and we usually try to get into like true crime or something like that. Um, so, so that's, that's movies. Um, what I do for a living is I drive. I'm a driver. Um, I say living, but it's more part-time or part, part-time. So, um, so right now I have UPS and I have Lyft and those are my two go-to incomes. Um, and then YouTube is a hobby that's becoming something way more. So I'm hoping to transform the YouTube into something that you guys really enjoy and want to listen to or listen to and watch. Um, 
but um, but yeah, so I drive a lot. That's that's what I do for a living. I've been doing that for about five years now, and um, it's something that comes natural to me. Um, I used to do landscaping years and years and years ago, and I was a one-man company, and I drove all over the place with a 15-foot trailer and a pretty large truck. So I've been used to driving um, for work. That's what I kind of have been used to doing. So, um, so that's my that's my work. Um, my my future goals with YouTube are to try to find something that you guys are are infatuated with or want more of constantly. Um, and um, right now, I'm just trying to sort of test the waters. Um, figure out what I'm good at, what I'm bad at, and kind of just keep going. Um, but I really don't want to be that channel that's just one type of video. I want to be a channel where you come to and you're like, oh, here's something new today. Like this is this is completely different than yesterday or, or four days ago. Um, so I'm trying to upload Monday through Friday and then stay off uploading on the weekends. Um, but sometimes, you know, I'm just like, I need to keep up uploading videos. Um, so really I upload videos that are important to me or I feel like could help other people. So whenever I can fix something, I get this charge and I'm like, I need to share that with other people. I want people to see this because it made me feel really good and I think it can help other people. So um, I've naturally been a people person. I've naturally wanted to help people. And so those videos are great. And I used to fix um, Xbox 360s and Playstations. That was something I did. I would buy them on eBay and then I would fix them up and then sell them back on eBay. Um, but that, man, that those were some of the best fixes ever because the to take something that is deemed broken and dead and then bring it back to life for me personally it was unbelievable i would literally be jumping around like yes i did it i did it so anything i can fix i love that um i'm also you know kind of handy so you you will see some handy man ish videos um, handy person, if we're going to be correct, um, handy person videos, that sounds weird. Um, but anyways, so, you know, you'll definitely see some of those. I'm going to have more coming up where I do, uh, more smart home stuff and more smart outlets and smart, uh, switches. So those, those are going to come up soon. Um, I did the wall hanging, uh, video, which I really, really enjoyed doing. And I felt like I had some some more comedic uh, moments in that, um, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's YouTube. Um, everything that you see right now, until I tell you, um, everything you see is shot on my Note 10. So this is a Note 10 Plus. Um, I've had it now since it came out in September. Um, I've always been a Galaxy guy. I started on the Galaxy S4 and I worked my way all up to the Galaxy S9 and that was actually the first phone I fully dropped. So I dropped that phone, I shattered it. It caused me to have to, to get a new phone which changed my upgrade uh, time period. So I went from a spring upgrade to a fall upgrade. So in that process I realized, excuse me, I realized that I could upgrade to the Note 10. And I had never been interested in the Note. I always thought it was um, a, more of a workhorse and less of a less of a consumer device. So I was always more like, okay, that's not for me. I don't need a stylist. Um, so I never, never went to the Note, always stayed with the Galaxy, mainly because of the upgrade. Whenever you have an upgrade that is, you know, at a certain time, you start to look forward to that new phone. So um, so I took a chance, got the Note 10. I had a rough start, I, I'll admit it. It had a few bugs, I had to fix those. Once I fixed the bugs and once I um, solved the problems, I fell back in love with this device. This device has an amazing battery life. It lasts, it lasts a long time. 
it has unbelievable ability to process video and edit and and right now I'm shooting on the front facing camera actually um, which is an 8 megapixel but it does shoot in 4k so that's awesome um, the screen is unbelievable it gives you so much clarity for editing for Photoshop and all that stuff so all of my videos like I said are all shot on this camera um, I mic in a <laughs> I pipe in a mic um, I I'm using a blue snowball right now and that's what you're hearing uh, recording my voice um, and that's just because that's the old microphone I had from my podcast setup so I got a new one this is the old one so I I can kind of bring it around with me um, I also have a lapel mic so I can do the lapel mic stuff um, but yeah, so everything is is fully edited. I use an editing uh, software app, I should say, um, which I'll be making a full in-depth video on that. I'll make a video on the Photoshop that I use to edit my thumbnails. But I'm kind of waiting until I master them. So I haven't fully mastered the Photoshop or the video editing yet. I, I feel like I'm close. Um, and once I do, then I'll make a video and share it with you guys. Um, but I've always been the type of person that loves the all-in-one feature. I, I've always strived to take a smartphone and push it to its max. So take a smartphone and, and attempt to take the best photo, like a DSLR quality photo, um, but being on a smartphone. So I think knowing the limitations of your devices is going to allow you to um, soar pretty high with them. If you attempt to take a photo that your camera just simply can't take, then it's gonna look like crap and you're gonna be upset. Same with video. If you attempt to shoot a video on a smartphone that just is not ready for a smartphone, then it's not gonna work. But this Note 10, I swear that I couldn't do any of these videos without it. If I had the Note 8 or the Note 7, wouldn't work. Note 9, maybe, I don't know. Um, never owned a Note before, but I believe that this Note um, with, the, with, the, the, with the camera quality and with all the other features it has, it's lending to a perfect uh, YouTube uh, device. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how I shoot right now until I tell you otherwise. Um, I am looking forward to the future. So in the future, maybe in the next month, maybe two months, um, maybe in the next couple weeks, I am going to be getting a GoPro. So I'm looking at a, a GoPro Silver. Uh, I think that's the 7. Yeah, it's the 7. Um, and it shoots in 4K. And that's going to be my next camera. So that's going to allow me to do... Um, unboxing videos better it's gonna allow me to do outside videos um, and other things like that so that will be my next camera I'll be shooting on the Note 10 and the GoPro Hero 7 Silver so um, so that's that's exciting for me um, I've been going back and forth should I get a Sony a7 should I get a full-blown DSLR um, should I get a really good point-and-shoot and I just kind of landed on the GoPro because I figured that even if it's not a, a super you know sensor and it's not like a super camera, it's going to allow me to do uh, more rugged stuff. And then I can look forward to something um, greater in the future of that. So baby steps, <laughs> which is something I'm learning right now. I am learning that you have to have patience with a lot of things and and that's really what my child has taught me is like you have to take your time you have to have patience i've always been the guy that is looking for that instant um gratification that instant um um turnaround and now uh, because of my my son i'm i'm learning take your time buddy take your time it's coming take your time so um so yeah, so future videos, let's talk about future videos on this channel. So one thing that I'm super excited about is I'm going to be attempting to sleep uh, slash camp slash RV in my Honda Fit. If anyone knows what a Honda Fit is, it is a tiny four-door uh, crossover 
sedan hatchback SUV car. Um, it's very small, uh, but I have slept in it once before on, on a pinch um, and the seats fold flat, so that's great. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing is doing a legit full-blown sleeping in my Honda Fit. Um, so I'm gonna start off by buying the material and going through the steps um, over time and then I'll have all the equipment and everything set up and then I'll do a full-blown uh, sleeping in the Honda Fit. So that's something that I'm super excited about. I can't wait for that. I have all the stuff picked out on Amazon and I just have to wait till I have the money and slowly start to knock off one by one and then each thing I'll make a video about where I talk about it. So that's something that I'm super excited about. Um, and then that leads, that can lead right into the next subject, which is RVing. I absolutely love RVing. I've been RVing three times in my life, once in high school. And then two years ago, I went to the Grand Canyon. That's right. Um, I took seven people, well, six people, five people, including me. So I took six people to the Grand Canyon, um, and then last year we went to Niagara Falls and I took way too many people. I had, what did we have? We had 10 people, maybe 11. <laughs> it was way too many people. You should never take that many people in an RV ever. Um, I would max it out at six, six people max, any size RV. I don't care if you have a, a, a 50 footer, six people max, any more than six people and you're going to have some crazy stuff happen. But anyways, RVing is something I absolutely love. I've always loved the idea of camping, but I've always hated being in a tent. So RVing to me is the camping without the hatred of the tent. Um, so I will definitely be doing RV videos um, in the in the future. Um, I don't know if I'll get to an RV video this summer, but probably next summer for sure. So that's something I'm looking forward to is doing a full-blown RV video. Um, vacation video um, or videos. So um, whenever I get passionate about something, I'm like, I got to share this with people. I got to talk about it. So what better place than right here? Um, so that's, that's, I think I'm going to end it there. I think I have, um, yeah, I'll be making more videos like this where I basically just try to um, open up a little bit so that you guys, uh, the subscribers can, um, understand more about me and why you should keep coming back to this channel and why you should be, you know, liking and subscribing and commenting and, you know, sticking with me. Um, Ooh, excuse me. Cause this is definitely something that I'm committed to. And I just want everyone, um, who's watching to know that you can trust there's going to be more videos coming up in the future. All right. That's the video. That's the, that's the talk. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did definitely like, and subscribe down below. Every time I get a subscription from somebody, every time I get a subscriber, I mean from somebody, I get a charge inside. It really makes me feel good. And I'm so grateful for every single one that I get. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.